Okay, well, let's look at that rig. First of all, uh, change the shading to X-ray joint. I can see that you did good. Uh, I've changed the size of the bone right here. Okay, um, animation, you know, bone size right here. So we can see it better now. Well, if I look at your rig, there's a couple problem um, right here. If you move up and down, see what's going on with the arm. It's not attached anymore right there. Uh, that's definitely a problem. And also, uh, I agree, the shoulders are moving with it. That's a problem too. And but the reason of the sliding like that over, it's because you have uh, skinned the character twice in rating right instead of just once. Okay. So um, and I've seen that before. Uh, no, right here, so select your skin, and go to the skin, and detach skin. Alright, delay the story, yeah, delay the story, and uh, detach once, okay? Select your skin again, and um, go for, uh, because right here, it's still connected, but it will be, have some weird results, it'll work, but it'll give us real results when we actually look and try to skin it, we won't see anything right there, so that's kind of really weird. Um, so we have to detach it one more time. Um, so we go to detach skin, detach it another one. Now this time, you'll see normally the skin won't be attached anymore. Okay, so now that's perfectly uh, loose like we were before. Okay, now we can select, I'm <coughs> sorry, uh, the pelvis right there, okay, which is the root of the character. And the bones are pretty well done. Uh, I like it. Uh, your orientation is following the world orientation, so that's a good thing too. Okay. Uh, so we're doing okay for that. Now uh, we select the skin after that of a character. We go to the skin, and in the bind skin, we select smooth binding. But we're gonna go to the option. Uh, and most of the time, when you are doing it, you'll be at five by default. If I reset that, uh, it will go to five in max influences, which basically means that every vertex is influences by a maximum of five joints, which is for me way too much. I always put it to three, sometimes even two, actually, with very low poly mesh, um, okay? Um, the higher the poly, the, the higher it goes, but, you know. All right, so now it's done. Let's check it out right here. Yeah, so now we don't have any problem with the head anymore, and it's not sliding, so that's a good news. The problem we have is we have a little deformation right here that's not working the way it should be working. Uh, that should be attracted more by the spine bones in your AT, all right? Um, so the way to do that is select the skin. I keep it in shape like that, in position like that, so I can see the deformation when it's not working properly. And then I select that, and I go to the um, right shoulder, uh, left shoulder, sorry. And I like your naming convention. You name your stuff properly, and that's a big plus to me, um, you know. Now you look at that and you double click on the tool to make sure it appears right there. Uh, we want a value of zero for black, obviously. Okay, and we are gonna make that smaller by clicking on B. I'm gonna make that smaller and sliding my mouse. It's B on your keyboard and the mouse. I make it smaller and I'm starting to uh, work with it All right, to get it back into a, a decent shape. You know, and also uh, when I like, when I got, when I got, you know, and I say, okay, I like it. One thing I always do is I keep selecting that bone and I go to smooth and I float it. All right. And it'll just, you see how it just readjusted right here. It gives a good fall off. After that, when I'm done with that, I just select the bone and go up and down, you know. And I can see it works good right here, but we have a little bit of the head. That's moving with it, a little bit of the side right there, okay? So that's not a big deal. Uh, we select the skin again, right there. And we are going to replace with zero, and we are making it a bit much bigger. So clicking on B and the mouse sliding. And we are going to totally redo that. Because what looks black might not be 100% black, remember that, you guys. Uh, so I'll put it right there, and I'll do that. Now I'm done with that, I'm going back to my rotate tool and rotate. Let's see if it's doing good. We're doing pretty good. We just have a little bit, it doesn't move a little bit under the neck right here. So right there. So what we can do, and so I'll show you the other way. 
take the vertices right here. So, okay, those are moving. Those are the ones that might be a problem. Oops, sorry. Uh, we want to um, hide the skeleton of the point. Uh, all right, so let's put the skeleton, the whole thing, into its own layer. Make it disappear the second. So, okay, those one right here are the problem makers right there. Okay, uh, let's, uh, you know. And so you'll select that right there, and you'll make sure that the um, actually right over there. And we'll make sure that they are not attracted by the left shoulder by going into Window, General Editor, and the Component Editor, the first one right here. And very often it'll open itself like that, smaller, and you'll have to um, scroll to the side to get the smooth skin. And then you just look at it and you basically say, hey, is there anyone that is, you see, shoulder, left shoulder, a bunch of them are, um, you know, small, but still they are, uh, you know, attracted. Uh, so that's not fun. Uh, you know. And basically, you figure it out. Let me bring back the, um, so you can see that. Let me see, let me see. Uh, as with the skeleton, I'm gonna be able to put it in position. And see what's moving. So let's say we have that one right here. Let's say, for example, and we go through all of them. We'll take just a couple here, uh, so we don't take lots of time, but you just have to do uh, all of them. You can see the left shoulder right here. Uh, that should be zero, right there, zero, 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 zero. Uh, oops, zero right there. Okay, uh, and now that will not move anymore. If I select that, you see how much better they are? Let me close the bone. See, they stayed now. Now, there's a couple of them other that's moving. Okay, right here, we can select them. And do the same thing, and you basically do the same thing until you're done. See, like, see that? So there's a lot of, you know, and it'll readjust with others like that because it needs to have three of them. Uh, and it's using more, so that's one of the problem. Right here. Uh, I missed one right here. Right there. Now, if we look at it, now we're back to the skeleton and select like that. So it's not moving anymore in that area. And you see, we still should need to do that, but that's, you know, we're not going to stay all day on that video so please do that and adjust your character that way i just showed you uh, that works very well it's pretty easy um, and that's pretty much it have a good one